Go. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm here at Mina de Sol Sal um, in Portugal, so it's in the town of Lule, and uh, I'm here at the salt mine, which is one of the largest in Portugal. And now this salt mine, it mainly um, creates salts for animal feeds and also for salting the roads when it gets very icy. But um, salt, it's such an important mineral. I mean, there's like 14,000 products that can be made from it. And I'm very fortunate enough to be here today and take you behind the scenes a little bit of some of the galleries present. So there are 40 kilometers of tunnels down here and I'm not going to take you around all of them but I'm going to go around a few of them and we can take a look at some of the amazing formations and how they mine uh, the salt down here. So I have a lovely example that I've picked up already. So this is a younger example of the salt. So there's a few different types. So this type is the pinker salt, which is about 90 million years old, but there's also salts that are around 200 million years. So I'll take you guys with me now and we can explore the mine together. The narration, just because the sound down in these mines is terrible, and I thought it would just be a bit nicer for you guys. So these are the galleries when you first enter, and then this is one of the workrooms where you can see a worker here discussing the safety aspects of the mine. So it's very important for these mines to have it as their top priority so the safety gear that they wear but also the structural integrity of the galleries so there's 40 kilometers worth of galleries underneath here at this salt mine in Portugal so if they're not monitored and checked for um, their structure they could you know it could be catastrophic if they're taking away material it could go very badly wrong so they're always monitored and almost like earthquakes the amount of vibrations are are checked regularly and then here we have just me being me walking and we can see um, the different galleries here so there's a lot going on and there's a lot of really cool salt uh, stalagmites or stagamites uh, st stalagmites you uh, guys know what I'm talking about and these are really beautiful as they're really fine and they're just dripping down the walls of the galleries and they they're so amazing to look at but they're extremely fragile so um, obviously no touching because they will just snap at the smallest touch um, but they were really amazing to look at and they're just everywhere and some are really long and these ones don't take thousands and thousands of years to form because it's just because of the salt they form a lot more quickly which is pretty cool so here we can see the walls of the mines and you can see everywhere is just beautiful salt and my camera doesn't do it justice but it's so sparkly and with the hard hat torches on you can really see the beauty of this mine and they have a lot of the old mining equipment still um, there so you guys so when you visit visitors can actually take away from the cultural and historical as aspect of the mines so you have like the rusting uh, machinery and vehicles and it's really cool to see the kind of history of the uh, older galleries so I really liked that aspect as it kind of adds that tourist touristic nature and value to the area not just because it is a working mine so it's still very much um, working and exporting salt but they're trying to still keep up with you know what tourists want to see and here we have some beautiful examples of the salts you can find and they're just lying around everywhere and we will get to see later in the video the machine that gets these beautiful pieces out and it literally grinds away at the wall so here's the machine so i'll let you guys watch if you look there, ah. you can see. Okay. and this is the difference between uh road dagger mine compared to what you see until now that was exclusive mine Okay, this, this little uh, points, when they broke, as you can see here and here and here, we need to take all this off, okay? This structure here goes off. And, and as you can see, it's not moving, so it's a hard work for now. <laughs> she was, um, the machine was um, stopped during like three or four weeks, so now everything needs to be lubricated again, okay? So what kind of material?
to look for. First of all, this this desk is not harmful for our land. Mm -hmm. It's rock salt, and this related with the asthma that I, I tell them is a very nice and profitable air to, to, to inhalate. Okay? <laughs> Never no miner in a salt mine use unless it is getting another kind of stuff, use any mask. Okay? In our days you you, you see the guys are, are not using and mask we just that we are doing with you and we use we use it. We are quite old uh, with vaccine, okay? Um, and the, 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 the machine now shows us the right color of the soul. That is the right color of the soul. Other others other color that you saw is related with the, the, the moisture in the air and also with the old times operation. But that is the right color of the soap, okay? If you want to, to, to go in there and take several samples, it's now the time, okay? I and obviously it's then ground even more so they put it into sizes so you can see here there's two sizes and this is dependent on its use so this mine mainly makes salt for de-icing roads but also for pet food but they do use these sieves and you can see here there's many different sizes that they can filter the salt through as so all the different chunks have and the finer particles they all have different uses and so they use a kind of sieving process and a grinding process to make the product that the mine actually exports and that's how they make a profit obviously um, depending what use it's needed so you can see these massive grids here that are used to filter it and then the buckets show you the how fine the salt is dependent on what they're using it for so it was really cool to see just there's so many uses for salt and obviously each mine focuses on different uses and so it was really cool to see and then here is another vehicle that's used to transport the salt around the galleries um, so you can just see here more of what's underneath so it's a really vast and really cool to see because it's all underground you wouldn't even know it from above ground so it's like almost like a secret of this little town that it's got all this going on and you can see some larger pieces of salt here and the different colors in salt as well there's a uh, quite um, various colors so you've got white salt you've got pink salt black salt dependent on what other minerals are mixed in and then we can see here some discontinued areas so it was really interesting and the salt is just beautiful down here. And then this is how you get in and out of the mine. So it's this cage lift and you can just see here that it's very simple engineering but it just is very effective. So it just goes up and down and it was just a really fun way because from the top you would never think so much was going on down below. And uh, yeah, you just drop down and there you have it. So now I'm going to let the experts talk to you a little bit. So I did manage to film some of the tour guides and workers just giving their input on the mine. So I hope you guys enjoy listening to what they have to say and thank you for listening.
point, okay? The big stones need to be crushed in something like this, all right? So that means we have around 50 men breaking them with hammers, all right? So in the 60s, 70s and 80s, we were 200 workers on three shifts. So that's all I got for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you thought in the comments and like and subscribe for more. I had a lot of fun exploring here and if you like this kind of video, maybe I can do some more in the future. But thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.